Hey you beautiful people, I am back again with this brown smoky eyes and a funky look. So to begin with, the foundation that I've used on my face is Urban Decay All Nighter and my shade is 4.0. And the palette that I have used today is also Urban Decay and it's the Wise palette. So make sure you use a kind of a primer, an eye primer before you start any eye makeup. I've used Urban Decay Original and let's begin. The first shade that I have used from the palette is uh, the shade Delete and this is a little bit of an orange shade and this goes right over the crease line. Um, I forgot to mention and show you something that I needed to do the first, that was the first step actually and that is uh, highlighting my brow bone. I have highlighted with Too Faced highlighter and uh, this is Candle Glow and this goes right over the uh, brow bone as you can see. So let's begin again. Uh, the crease using a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going all over the crease line and I'm going all over the lid um, Adding little by little of the shade as you can see it's a very simple look and it's a very beautiful look when it's on once it's done You will know what I'm talking about and then going on the lower lash line and then basically hugging the outer corner of the eyes So it goes like over the eyelids and then outer corner of the eyes and then towards the lower lash line just like this as you can see adding the shade little by little on the brush the next shade from the same palette I'm using is bitter and this goes and yeah uh, I have actually wet my uh, brush with a finishing liquid and mine is Prep and Prime by MAC and basically I have just just wet the brush and I'm just dabbing the brush into the shade and then onto the lid I've used a flat brush and this brush is by Zoeva as you can see basically I'm just placing the shadow on the eyelid just like this Next I'm using a blending brush and I'm just going over the crease line. I'm trying to just blend this brown into the previous shade that I have used. Just like this. Basically diffusing any harsh lines and giving that grading kind of effect. This makes the eyes more beautiful. And then going on the lower lash line in the same manner. like this keep adding the shade little by little on the brush you need not you need not wet the blending brush keep blending and keep adding the shade on the brush as needed Next I'm using a small blending brush and it's a clean blending brush so basically I'm just blending the crease line as you can see. The more you blend it the more it's going to give you that grading kind of an effect. The next shade that I'm using from the same palette is the shade Robbery and it's a kind of a rusty silver color, silver shade. Again I'm wetting my uh, brush and dipping the brush in the shade and then onto the lid. This goes right in the middle of the eyelid, as you can see. You may skip this step if you don't like too much of shimmer or glitter on the eyes, but this gives that kind of a pop and makes your eyes more live. The next time I'm using is the eyeliner, gel eyeliner by Morphe, and this is called Slate. So basically I'm just going just like a normal line close to the lash line as you can see this step is more important because more neater your wing is more more the more your eyes looks beautiful more the whole makeup looks beautiful so um, yeah Make sure you keep the brush very close to the lashes.
Next, I'm just drawing a line towards the tip of the um, eyebrows as you can see why I'm doing this is because this gives me a guide to actually have appropriate wings on both the eyes so basically I'm gonna it's it's always better to mark something on the face so that you get equal equal kind of wings on both the eyes instead of having one wing up and one the other down so basically this this trick works with me I hope it works with you too so just just drag a line towards the end towards the tip uh, of the eyebrows on both on both the eyes in this way you will have a proper angled wing and now I'm just thickening the uh, the line as you can see thickening and extending the line As you can see, I'm joining the uh, line towards the tear duct area, just giving it that kind of a complete look of the wing. As you can see, I'm extending and thickening the wing. And then filling up any, any uneven edges, just like this. This is a little bit time consuming, but it's worth. and then filling it up more and darkening it some more and then I'm going to join it to the lower lash line too but then first I'm going to use this pencil by H&M and it's just a brown pencil eye pencil and I'm just filling it up uh, filling my waterline with this pencil uh, you may use black, um, I, I just wanted to use brown so I went ahead with brown but you may use black too. As you can see I'm just filling up the waterline. Should look something like this. And then going again with the first shade that I've used from the palette and I'm going again on the lower lash line with the same shade and the same brush and then using the same second shade that's delete from the same palette and using the same blending brush I'm just 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 smudging the shade on the lower lash line just like this as you can see I'm just going towards the end of the wing too and now I'm just connecting the lower lash line to the upper making it one whole making it one eye look my voice always really bad today as i have a really bad uh, cough and cold uh, so please excuse me with that but i think i'm pretty clear with what i'm saying and then using the same delete shade with a smaller with a smaller brush smaller and flat brush I could say small and flat brush I'm just going at, I'm just darkening uh, just near the lower lash line I'm just darkening the lash line as you can see I just want that kind of intense look you may not do this you may just leave it as it is but I thought it would do great Then I'm using uh, this mascara by Benefit and this goes just on the lower lash line it's 
just like this. And then it's falsy time, you may use any of your favorite false eyelashes. I have used mine and um, as you can see it's a bit of a trick to have these in the right place. And then I'm using, I'm just trying to fix it well. Next I'm using this mascara by Max Factor and it's called what is it called? <laughs> it's called um, Wild Mega Volume and it's a pretty nice uh, nice mascara and it's quite reasonable too. The price is not too expensive and this goes on the lashes just like this as you see. Then I have used this Real Cheeky palette by Benefit and I have used Hula from this palette just to contour my face a little bit. And then I'm using Pep and Prime loose powder and this goes right, right under the contour as you can see. Then I'm using Rocketeer and this is by Benefit and this blush goes right on the apples as you can see just like this The still image that I have uh, used in the beginning and the end uh, I have used a little bit of more uh, contouring powder and I've used extra highlighter just to make the image look more prominent you may not do that you just could, can just follow the steps that I have shown you in this video so it's pretty neat and pretty decent and then using a clean brush I'm just going to uh, merge both both the blush and the contour that I have used and diffuse any harsh lines that I see on the on the cheeks and making it look more natural and then for the highlighter I have used what's up from the same uh, cheeky palette um, and this goes right on the tip of the nose and it just goes on on the lips too basically this will just give you an illusion of bigger lips as you can see and then right on the cheekbones as you can see I'm just dipping my finger inside the highlighter and just dabbing it on the cheekbones. Very simple, as you can see. For the lips, I have used this pencil by Urban Decay and this is called Conspiracy. I have realized I have used each and every product today in this tutorial and each and every product is by Urban Decay or Benefit. <laughs> um, they're one of my favorite brands so I like using the, their products a lot. So as you can see I'm just shaping my lips with the, with the pencil and I'm also going to fill the lips with the same as you can see next I'm using this uh, crayon by NARS and I seriously don't know the name of this because uh, there is no name uh, it's e either it's sharpened off or I don't know but it's a it's a simple brown pencil by NARS uh, lip pencil by NARS and then I'm using the highlighter again right in the middle of the lips as you can see I'm just dabbing it right in the middle just to give that kind of a shine and you know just to make the lips look more plump so it's a nice highlighter by benefit it's called what's up
this. I hope you guys liked this look as much as I enjoyed creating it with as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. I shall see you in my next videos. See you, take care, bye bye. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if at all any of my tips are um, useful to you. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. Take care, bye bye.